airport over the last 11 or 12 weeks, this is what you would see me sporting. I have been living out of these three items for the last few months. I think it will be a total of three months here in Europe and then more to come in the US as well. And I thought I would do a video explaining everything that went into this packing system because I'll be honest, I didn't really decide where I was going to stay in Europe as much as I focused before I left on what I was packing for Europe. Let's take a look at the three bags and what they each include. Kind of look at these three items as kind of the rooms in my apartment as I'm traveling. So this would be typically the bathroom or bedroom, if you will, the suitcase. And then this bag is my office, and this is my living room. So in here, of course, I'm gonna have my phone, earbuds, and a wallet. I use a credit card, it's a business card case. I don't know if you can see that there, um, as my wallet because the purse that I brought was super small and I knew I wanted to have something that would be easy to travel with. So inside of it, it has my cards and my cash and my receipts and in the US I never usually would use something this tiny but it's been totally fine and really handy and I don't need all of the loyalty or reward cards and all that kind of stuff that you usually have back in the states because they don't really apply here in Europe so just have this little guy. And again it's also kind of nice because it fits easily in this bag as well and then the all important Airbnb keys. So that's pretty much what's in the front besides a lip gloss. When you open it up while traveling, I'll usually have, uh, lately especially because I'm a little bit heavier at this point with the stuff than I started out with. Um, so normally in the past, I probably when I left didn't have a coat in this bag. I probably had enough room to leave it in the other two items, but I have a coat right now. Did a little shopping in Barcelona and Italy, so that's probably why that's happening. Um, along the way, I picked up a water bottle. I started with a different one originally that was not dishwasher safe and it got really skinky and smelly and gross. So I let that one go and recycled that one and got a new one when I went to Scotland and, to, and did a hill climbing retreat and needed something to carry water with. This is my Instamax. It's our Instax. It's the Polaroid camera thing you probably have seen. Um, if not already own one yourself. And then when it comes to the business and running the Lively Show and everything JustLively.com related, it is creepy how little space this stuff takes up. So in here, I have the microphone that I've been using. For anyone that's wondering, it's the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB mic with a pop filter. So this is a pop filter. It makes sure that um, my keys don't pop when I use it. So this is the podcast. This is all it takes to do the show on the road. And actually, I've been using this podcast mic for a really long time, even in the States at my house. So um, really simple, light, and crazy. My computer is a new MacBook. I had a MacBook Pro at the, in the States, and I decided to kind of get a new one for all the travel I was doing, and I'm really glad. This is, I think, a 12-inch laptop. It's really small. It's actually lighter than the Air. It's about the size of an iPad. So crazy lightweight, really easy to bring in a purse or the backpack, and I love that it doesn't weigh me down the way the 15-inch MacBook Pro would have. So I would definitely recommend getting a lightweight laptop, if possible, if you need one to travel with. And then this is my iPad mini, and I like this case because it also doubles out of the clutch. I haven't actually used it as a clutch though, so let's be real, maybe I didn't really need to <laughs> get this specific case for it, but I still think it's pretty and I could use it as a clutch if I ever wanted to. And then this is a travel essential, especially as a podcaster. I already used them before for podcasting, but especially while traveling, the, boy, the Bose noise canceling headphones in a plane with kids or really loud speakers and just the, the humming noises of the planes in general or coffee shops, whatever, having noise canceling headphones while traveling is a really nice way to cut out distractions or deal with things that you don't wanna uh, listen to but you have no control over while you're traveling. And then of course, I have my cord for my computer, an umbrella, a converter. This is the uh, UK converter. I also have somewhere around here, I don't think I repacked it for you guys, but I have a 
U uh, European converter as well. So you need a different one for Britain than you do for Europe and the rest of it. So having two of those is great. Um, some hand lotion. And then in here I have my coloring pens and a few little outlet stuff and some of the Instamax uh, photos that I've taken. You'll notice that there's a lot of little baggies and stuff like that because I find that it's much easier to find things when you kind of have a, a smaller home within a bigger home in each of these pieces of luggage. This I'm going to get to in a second when I get eventually to here, but I'll say this is a phone charger. It typically goes in this uh, case, but because it, when you check this bag, you're not supposed to leave the phone charger in it. I use it on the go and I take it out of this and I just keep this in my purse or my backpack whenever I travel. So during the day, usually about halfway through the day, if I'm using Google Maps and everything or WhatsApp to talk to people, my phone will start to die and this will recharge it. It's a little bit heavier than, you know, you probably get lighter ones if you're just going to buy one straight for a trip. But since this case already came with it, I love that I didn't have to buy another one. It's pretty heavy, but worth it. For the first two months of the trip, this was the only purse that I had. My friend Danielle Moss met me in Rome and she could not believe that I had gone so long with just a case this size, but it really was fine. Honestly, I just had my lip gloss, my wallet, like I said, very small, my phone charger in it, and that's about it. Maybe some hand lotion and sunglasses sometimes. Um, and then the other thing I would maybe swap out whether I was bringing this or the camera that I'm using to record right now, which is very small and can fit in here too. So honestly, this is a great crossbody bag. I like that it was the zipper one so that I didn't have to worry so much about um, pickpocketing. Not that I've really felt that worried from the places that I've gone so far. I've never felt like, oh my gosh, they're out to get me by any means, but having a zipper on it was nice as well. And then that's about it. Oh, let's see. Oh, passport. Gotta have that. And when it comes to the coloring pens, of course you need to have a coloring book. So I've been bringing um, this one by May Designs and coloring in it. Usually I'll do it in travel when I'm waiting in the airport or on the plane. So that <laughs> and some pretty chocolate I picked up in Edinburgh. So uh, I've liked having some nice chocolate uh, as part of my groceries or food, if you will, but I don't really carry too much food with me most of the time. I'm usually just buying at the Airbnb place, eating the food there, and then moving on. The only thing I usually do bring with me from point to point would be some nice chocolate. Now let's move on to the duffel bag. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the duffel bag, aka the living room. You guys want to see it better. It is a Herschel duffel bag. My backpack was also a Herschel bag. I love the backpack so much that I went for the duffel with them as well. I really like it. It's really simple. It has just like a little badge there and a small pocket here, which I can throw my wallet or my phone in or passport if needed while traveling. Of course, I keep an eye on it if I'm ever going to put it in there, but it's easy access if needed, standing in security lines and that sort of thing. And has a big shoulder strap, which is very important. Very glad it's padded because this thing can get heavy. And the other thing I really like is that it has this little thing here for your shoes and other assorted items. So I'll start with this and I'll pull out the items as I go. So this is my raincoat, which has come in very handy in London and Scotland. So um, really handy. It's from Everlane, under $100 I believe, and has been a lifesaver many times over. This is something that honestly, I've really debated whether I'm gonna keep this or not. If I was just going for the summer and I knew I was coming back, I would probably not bring this. This is kind of heavy. It's a thermos with a tea filter in it for nice, nice tea. I really think this is kind of handy, but really it's heavy and I don't really need this. It's kind of bulky in here. I barely use it this summer. And the only reason I'm still kind of hanging on to it instead of giving it away or donating it on the trip is because I don't know when I'm coming back and where I'm gonna be, and I think in the fall or winter, I may actually want to start using something like this, but otherwise, I'd say it's kind of pointless on this trip. I have not used it nearly enough to, to carry it around. Um, in here, I have shoe bags for things. So these are my little sandals from Soul Society. really like them. They're lightweight. The soles are not the thickest, 
So I think it would be wonderful if they had a thicker sole um, for all the cobblestone streets and stuff, but they do a good job and I just don't have to walk billions of miles in them. And then in here, I have my other shoes. So as I mentioned, I'm wearing my cross trainers, which I run and walk around in. They're not the best running shoes for any real runners out there. They're not great, but I don't do a ton of running here, not long distances either, so they're working out pretty fine, and I like that they look cute enough to wear with regular clothes too. And then in Florence, I picked up a pair of heels, but really these are new, so these were not something that I really needed for the first two months of the trip, and but I think they're cute. They have a stacked heel, little Velcro, like a peak toe booty. I think they'll get me into the fall pretty well too. Not obviously into deep fall, but they are super cute. And I tuck little um, reusable totes in them. And this is the water bottle uh, filter that you can, I haven't used it yet, but you can put like fruit in it and it'll like infuse the water with your fruit flavorings, I guess. Again, that's probably something, since I haven't used it yet, that I probably don't need, quote unquote, but I haven't. And then, I brought another pair of shoes originally, but right in the beginning in New York, they got trashed in the rain. So um, having a pair of like leather flats, these are just espadrilles. I got them in Portugal and Porto, and I really enjoy them. They're light pink color, which you'll notice is a theme in my capsule wardrobe. And again, tucked um, extra reusable bags in them as well. And then last but not least, my other pair of shoes is flip flops. So that's it, a pair of flats that are leather, a pair of flat sandals, a pair of flip flops for the beach, heels that are new and technically I've gotten along pretty fine without, and these shoes. Um, in the beginning of the trip I also brought a pair of black booties in May for London because I think it was chillier and colder there and I just felt like it would be cute and nice and I ended up leaving them with my friend Corinne in her apartment uh, come June. So she has them there. I have some stuff at my friend's house in Portugal too which I said either uh, I'll come back and get them or she can have them if I never come back. So some things get um, kind of left along the way or are set out at other people's houses if uh, I need room for new things or the weather changes as I go. Now in the big duffel, this is the one thing that is completely impractical and I'm so grateful I brought it. It is my blanket. It's just a white fleece. But because I don't have a house anymore, this is probably something I wouldn't do if I was coming back to a house, but because I am not in a house, my house is wherever I'm at at that moment. So this is something that is totally, I just find it really comforting. I can stay warm in case the Airbnb blankets aren't exactly what I'd like. And also it's just something that I know from home and it makes wherever I am at, if I have my Netflix on, a cup of tea in this blanket, I kind of can make my living room wherever I'm at feel a little bit more cozy and a little more familiar. So I've been really grateful that I brought it, but if I was going on a shorter trip, I wouldn't bring it. Brush, of course, uh, curling iron in here. Um, a tip with the curling iron, I burnt out and busted my other American curling iron, so I got a new one in France that has a European converter. So if you're gonna stay for a long period of time, I'd probably say if you have a nice curling iron, just get a cheap new one if you're staying for a long time in Europe that is a European one so you don't burn it out like I did. And also I have a blow dryer and I knew from people that had told me just get a blow dryer from Europe, just don't even bother bringing an American one because the conversions are so different and you'll bust it. So this is just a small, lightweight blow dryer. Um, other people may not bring that but I <laughs> am not the backpacker extreme type. I'm kind of in between, I'm not super high maintenance, obviously I don't have a ton of things, but at the same time I like to feel like I'm not always in like a travel look. I want to feel like I'm actually living the city and having a blow dryer coming a curling iron is part of that, at least for my hair and my preferences. In here I have contacts. I have a lot of extra ones because again I don't know when I'm ever coming back or where I will be for how long. So I have that. My uh, camera charger. Let's see. Earplugs in case I need them. Uh, film and batteries for the headphones. Loose leaf tea for that tea thing that I'm never using. <laughs> and yeah, extra film. And a little first aid kit. And here, these are my supplements. So I've been trying to pick up more as I go and keep up with the Elisa VD protocol as much as possible. Um, yeah, so I have these as well. And in here, I have a bag that I brought. So I did 
kind of cave eventually and get a bigger bag. It's kind of like a tote that I really love and makes me, again, feel like I'm not so much traveling. I got this on sale in Italy and really, really like it. And inside of it, I have my bikinis, which I picked up in Portugal. Oisho, if you're going to Europe, is a really great place for swimsuits that are really affordable and very pretty. And, and here I have like nail clippers, um, cash, receipts, matches. I have a tiny little travel candle, so I have little matches for that. Um, I haven't really used it yet, but a little candle as well, and a nail file and that sort of thing. Sunglasses and lotion. And then, let's see what else. A uh, little jogging uh, track uh, jacket. I got this for the hill climbing retreat, so I didn't actually bring this initially, but it's come in handy in the hill climbing. And so, the, and since the fall is coming up, I think it's a good thing. Hair, little clippy thing. My friend Diana gave me this little cocktail kit. I haven't used it yet, but apparently it makes two champagne cocktails. So I'll hopefully get a chance to use that soon. And then when it comes to books, books are heavy, so I don't have many. I, that's emergency, um, have two little gratitude journals that are travel themed, which I really like, so I write in those and keep track of my gratitude. I have my diary that I write to my intuition in um, as often as possible. Not quite every day, but I use this as well. And then my receipts for the VAT, the tax, when you return back to the States, and a little notebook for written receipts for writing to-do lists. And the only book right now that I have is The Bingo Theory by me and by Mimi Icon because she gave it to me at the beginning of my, beginning of my trip. But really, the mi iPad mini is really what I need for books because books are heavy and bulky and you do not want to be lugging this kind of thing up a flight of stairs all the time. Now let's move on to the big guy, the suitcase.